Hello, this is the 2014 Specialized Rock Hopper Pro Evo 29 in size medium. This old timer is almost 10 years old, but it's still better than many his opponents in mid-range bikes. It has two-piece crankset with two chain rings protected by old-school effort in bashguard. Back then, SRAM was just introducing narrow weight system. Interestingly, it also has Air RockShox fork with tapered steer tube, 12mm through axle, and 120 mm of travel. Pro Evo was designed as a trail bike. Now its geometry is more like modern XC bikes that have become more aggressive and have begun to use suspension with 120 mm of travel as well. By the way, do you think that bikes over the last decade have changed a lot? Or is just the every year lower and slacker trend? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious about your opinions. As I mentioned before, bike has SRAM 2x10 drivetrain The rest of the accessories, such as seat posts and saddle, grips, handlebars and stem, 29 by 2.1 ground control wire tires are provided by Specialized. Brakes are simple, but still working without any problems, Tektro Draco. In this configuration, bike weighs 13.6 kg. To slim it down a bit and make it a bit modern, I changed drivetrain into Shimano 1x10 with narrow weight decas chainring, shifter and your 6000 crankset that is lighter and stiffer thanks to the Shimano Halotech 2 technology. I add very fast and puncture resistant Continental Racing 29x2.2 tires. short stem and higher handlebar to make riding more pleasant. Very comfortable specialized Revo Sport saddle. I also installed light and wide VP537 platform pedals Links to those parts you will find in the upper right corner and in the description. After these changes, the weight of the bike dropped to 12.5 kg. Specialized has become a little bit livier, easier to keep it clean and more comfortable, thanks to the more upright position. This rock hopper is 9 years old, was bought in a very good condition and I think that next 9 will survive without problems. So if you have a choice to buy a new bike for about 700 euros, with a coil fork, the cheapest drivetrain and very heavy frame, then think twice, maybe it's better to buy a used one and upgrade it. And for the curious ones, this rock hopper with all new parts costs a little less than 650 euros. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to write it in the comments and if you like the video drop a like and subscribe my channel where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!